Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the new exciting features within the Tablas 2.0 upgrade. So first off, let's just get right into it. So when you have the Tablas NKI open, if you click the advanced tab, you'll see that now you have the LFO filter and arpeggiator. But if you go down here to the bottom and you see this little sequencer, click on that, and then it takes you into this uh, sequencer that has all of the different tabla articulations laid out for you. Pretty much, you know, each of these articulations has a specific word or bowl related to them. So you can put together your own words to form musical sentences, and then you can actually even take this, give it to a real tabla player, and they'll be able to see, okay, all right, this is what you put together. These are the words that you put together that you want for a specific musical phrase, and then they'll be able to recreate that. So it really makes it a lot easier. I mean, you have all of the notes laid out across the keyboard, but with the sequencer, you could actually use these three keys up here. So it makes it really easy. And if you want, you could swap them out. So if let's say for this note or this word, you can swap it out for this. And then pretty much like if you've seen in any of our choir libraries that have the ability to switch between different phrases, it works exactly the same. So if you wanted to just start fresh, you can just, just plug in whatever ones you want, or if you have specific ones that you like and you want to craft a specific sort of groove and rhythm with, you know, certain uh, accents on, on specific beats, you can do that too. Or one of the things I like to do is just randomize it. So that makes it really easy if you're just trying to work on the fly, you want to get something cool going and you don't want to worry too much about programming, you can do that. And another thing that makes it really easy too is if you want to go and then turn on the arpeggiator, then you can just hold one note. And you can just keep that, keep that held and then just switch through and randomize. like oh okay I like that then you can change the groove so you can get some pretty realistic performances going and then if you want you can change the arpeggiator take some notes out or if you want to make it seven eight so you get that kind of uh So by doing this, it really makes it easy to just hold a note, or if you don't want to use the arpeggiator and you just want to use the three different keys to um, make it a little bit easier, because sometimes just playing on a single key might be a little hard. So if you want, you can use all these three keys and So you're basically getting the ability of playing a tabla, but on a keyboard, so it makes it really easy. And then if you want to take it even further, you can go into the effects rack. You can uh, play around with the different reverbs and effects. If you want to add a little bit more reverb to the sound, turn on the arpeggiator, and then you can turn on the filter. Then you can add some LFO. And there you have it. So yeah, a really exciting feature that allows you to get the most out of the library and it's really musical and really fun to use. So if you wanna learn more about Tablas, make sure to go to soundiron.com. If you're a previous owner of the library, learn about how you can upgrade. And thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.